Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm Sintwitch, and today we're in B class. Um, so first up we have Homestead Road in the Lancia 037, this is the same tune that I used in um, the Spa video, and I got pushed from behind there, or I certainly felt like I was pushed. Um, so the good start was for nothing, and I feel that guy in front, I've seen his name before, uh, in another hopper, um, can't remember what he was like, uh, must have been nearly a week ago, it's now Tuesday afternoon, I haven't played anything since Friday, because I was at the racing, uh, we were at Donington Park with the Mini, and so, yeah, nothing really happened, there's just that overtake. Um, and on to going into the final lap, I managed to get up to 5th on that CRX. And, um, yeah, I was hoping, because I had been gaining on the pair of them, but now they were separated, uh, it was going to be more difficult to catch them than when they were fighting. So it was looking good until this point where I tried to get on the power way too early and uh, subsequently losing the position again to the CRX. Um, and I did think about sending it into this corner. Uh, I was definitely looking up the inside as you can tell and just had to avoid him there. I didn't want to uh, spin him round. So at the end of the day it's only fifth place in a uh, Forza Hopper, that means absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, I think this race would have been better if I had um, if I had a good start. If the start hadn't been pushed, or it was either a push or a sim switch that sent me out wide. I don't know that affected the guy trying to go around the outside of me. And uh, stupidly. I missed the breaking point again, I think I'd already missed it on the first lap, and if you saw in the rearview mirror he missed it as well, but he was more willing to cut corners, whereas, yeah I, not, I cut the corner there and I did not mean to, um, so yeah that's, that was a bit of a cheap position that I got there, and that left me 5th on the grid, is this 5th or 6th on the grid? Sit um, in the next race. I was intending on doing breakfast today. Um, I got in, uh, got home, sort of thing after work, and yeah, went to load up breakfast and it wanted a 10 gigabyte update. So we're doing this today, but um, for reference, that's breakfast 11. The eleventh video I do on it. Um, yeah, so that'll be up at some point. And yeah, this I had a good start to this race. Um, sixth up to second very briefly, um, and the Alpha pushed off this guy in front, and then got absolutely obliterated. If you saw that in the rearview mirror. And yeah, rounding out lap 4, nothing happened, no change, um, I don't think I was even on par with lap times. So yeah, that, that was rather a dull race, in between the first two there, there was a top gear, one of them. Um, but, I think both of these two who beat me in the previous race spectated for some reason. Uh, or maybe I registered a clean lap. I can't remember, but this is in the Camaro 0 02, and someone trying to send it from way back. I was trying to cover off the inside, um, and I don't know why my launch was so good. This was a very small lobby, um, it was just the first one I found, and so I didn't have much time this afternoon because we finished work late and stuff. So I sort of didn't want to go jump in and out of lobbies, I just wanted to get into recording, 
happened today. Um, I would have liked to have been in a bigger lobby, one that's more competitive. Because uh, here you can see I've got a huge gap already. Um, and that, despite looking the same, this, this guy behind you is quick. Uh, I guess he joined this lobby just about the race was starting. So, yeah, he had to fight through from the back, and, you know, I don't know why he was so quick through here. I mean, I know, I know I had a little moment there, but he gained a lot on the brakes, um, which I couldn't understand. And then, I, I think he may have let me go. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't much of a touch. It didn't really affect me. You can see the car was trying to twitch out. I think this car is actually um, the leaderboard car for this circuit. And it, it, it showed it, it was, as you can see, we're, together we're 10 seconds clear of third. Um, but then coming up to the final corner, he's in the rearview mirror, but that didn't bother me. And getting a good run through there. And I don't think that Subaru had much pace uh, down the straight. I think it was all corners and no straight line. Um, and then we move back over to Homestead. This is in the Honda S800. I've done this track in this car. This lead wheel car. I was uh, just outside top 50, I think. So you can see absolutely demolishing everyone off the line. Uh, which I would expect. Absolutely nothing should have this much power in B-Class. And this sort of proves why acceleration is king in Forza. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see this whole race. Because in theory, you should have just seen the start. But I forgot where we were braking. So um, I'm sure you've seen other people laugh at people. Now you know what it... Now you've seen the perspective of the idiot going for the other layout. It was worse because I, I had done that layout maybe, maybe 20 minutes earlier, I think. They're about five minute races, aren't they, in B-Class? And then it, it just had a tank slapper and I couldn't control it. And this is why that, um, this is the reason I did not bother going harder in that leaderboard. Um, there's actually an RX-8 on the inside there. Which I didn't realise. So we're on lap two, and you can see the amount again over everyone else. And then first place running wide, and yeah, so now second place, sort of barging his way through. And yeah, that didn't really help. So then you're down to third, and I think there's another person mucking around. Uh, slight touch on the RX-8, not enough to unsettle him, um, which is good, I didn't want to, I had no intention of touching him, it's just this car is so difficult to control once it goes in a line, that is it. I think here, hitting my braking point quite well, and that should have really been it, but as you see, maybe that's why that guy was so quick in the last race. I don't think there's much to can cut options. And he sort of held me off the track. So, yeah, it's, it wasn't the cleanest lobby, is one way to put it. I don't think I helped it. I was trying to be as clean as I could. Uh, I always try to be clean. That's, that's how I like to be. I like to play fair. But not everyone does. So, yeah, you just have to deal with it and try and beat them. Uh, legit, if they beat you non-legit, then that is on them, not on you. Uh, I may have had a little push there, or it was me being late on the brakes. So that Civic and the RX-8, I, I did not intend on cutting there. It's just the car was in its mind going that way, and I'm sort of a passenger. And you may have seen the rearview mirror, mirror briefly caught up. And we're now on to lap 5, so this is the start of lap 5, and the RX-8 is still in front, 
but the two behind sort of caught up each other, the Civic and the Mura. And I think, looking back, I have enough of a gap that I should be out of the way of the games of the RX-8. He's always trying to get up the inside where you shouldn't be going right, the, through the grass method. So back into second place and you can see that acceleration why it is absolutely ridiculous to have that sort of acceleration in B class. I mean on a track like this there is pretty much nothing you can do. If the ovals had come up I'd be using the 166 double M that I used on the ovals previous um, or Indianapolis I'd use that Mercedes 190E um, yeah uh, he seemed to take it rather clean there so given that I don't really have the handling to compete but yeah you can tell how redundant handling is on a circuit like this this car is atrocious handling and it's not much fun to drive but it was almost a guaranteed race win you can see a lot of people have already quit out of this um, I guess because of how stupid this car is and uh, yeah by lap 7 coming up to the end of lap 7 we've absolutely gapped the uh, Subaru BRZ by about a second and he's back in the rearview mirror but he can't really do much about the acceleration that's coming out of this corner and you can just see him disappear in the rear view mirror it's completely unfair how broken the acceleration in this game is like how how much acceleration will benefit you compared to handling um, yeah so coming up to the end of the race there was never really a doubt I would have won uh, was going to lose this uh, unless I went off like I did on lap 1 but I was taking it cautiously here because I knew I'd gap that Subaru by a few seconds over the lap so yeah that's the end of this race and then we had another race but there wasn't much happening in it uh, I'm going to mention it again I want to do uh, eventually one day when we get a community together if we get a community get together I'd like to do online racing with people who subscribe to the channel um, I'd like to set up a league sort of thing uh, I should not have gone for that gap that gap was never really gonna be there um, yeah so if you're interested in that you can guarantee a position by subscribing to the channel uh, I don't really push this sort of stuff it's just something that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna prioritize people who sub to the channel over people who just watch it um, but yeah, this this race um, started all right. Yeah, and then nothing really happened. Yeah, lap finishing second. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching the end. That did not come out well. Thank you very much for watching to the end. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Hope to see you in a future video, and bye for now.